Anyone who has ever lost a piece of valuable jewelry knows that sick feeling you get in your stomach, especially as more time passes and it doesn't turn out. That's right. You look and you look and you look and you can't find it. News Channel 5's Marcy Gonzalez shows us a Jupiter woman says karma kicked in and brought her Tiffany diamond necklace back in a very unexpected way. It's just like um, a perfect combination of events. That combination as perfect as this diamond, the biggest surprise of Sharon Beck's life that started with the sucker punch of losing the $4,000 stunner. It really upset me and it still bothered me. The nagging guilt continuing since April when it fell out of her purse after a tanning session here in Abacoa. I would say things to myself like, you just need to do the right thing and be a good person and your necklace will come back to you. A karmic concept she never thought would actually work until she got the call. I was screaming. I was like, no, there's no way. No way. It's been here in the parking lot all along, unnoticed until Donna Carr pulled up three months later. And the sun was just hitting just right on the parking lot. The sparkle and the literal diamond in the rough of the pavement caught her eye and she turned it into the tanning salon. The odds baffling, even to Beck, who happens to be a statistics teacher. I wouldn't even know how to figure out the chances of that happening. Even more difficult to calculate the chances of this coincidental catalyst. Carr just lost her diamond at a store last month and someone turned it in. Since she never got to say thank you, this was her chance. A payback. Pay it forward. Paying it forward and renewing faith in the law of attraction. I was like, wow, it's karma and it really exists. Even and in humanity. It just is a reminder that there are good people out there and honest people. Now, the necklace was a bit damaged, as you might imagine, but Tiffany's has offered to fix it for free. And Carr said she doesn't want a reward. She just wants the message sent out to others to pay it forward. Reporting live, Marcy Gonzalez, WPTV News Channel 5.